So once you open up your kits, friends, you're going to find five different colored jars of paint. Now this paint is very special paint and you have to be extra careful with it because this is not washable paint. If it gets on things, it'll stain and it'll be hard to get off. It might be a little harder than usual to get off your fingers, but it'll be very difficult to get out of your clothes. So you have to be extra careful when we're working with acrylic paint because it doesn't wash away. I have an old washcloth or a rag close to me just in case I spill. You might want to cover your work surface with an old newspaper or something that you can throw away like paper towel if it gets covered in this kind of paint. We have to be extra careful. We're also going to be using the bag that our kit came with so that if you need it, you have a bag here that will keep your table clean. So inside of your kit, not only do you have your special acrylic paint, remember it's hard to wash, you also have a glass ornament. It's clear, it lets light through, you can see all different kinds of things. It's transparent, we can see through it, transparent. And it has a piece of shiny, silvery um, string, ribbon, something on it, so you can hang it like an ornament from a tree. So what we're gonna do is this. We are going to very carefully pop the top part off by just pulling it. And these two sides are going to pop wide open. This is kind of like a clamp, and it clamps it tight to keep it inside of the ball. I'm just gonna set this to the side for now because I don't need it. I'm gonna be very careful with this. This is made of glass. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to be pouring my acrylic paint inside of my glass ornament and I'm going to kind of swirl it around and make it look how I want. Now I have to decide what colors I want to use and you could use all the colors but these two colors right here are red and are green. If we put these two colors together and we mix a lot this is gonna give us a dirty, muddy brown. So you might wanna think about taking just one of these two colors. So I think I'm gonna take the red out and use it for something else. And I'm gonna use these colors for mine. You can use whatever colors you like, but just remember, if you use both the red and the green, you're gonna get a brown color. Another thing to think about is that, do you know what color you'll get if you mix red and blue? You'll get some purple. So if that's not what you want, don't put these two colors together. So I'm gonna set that off to the side. All I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna open my little jar very carefully. I had mine upside down so you could see the color. So I'm gonna be extra careful when I open it. I'm gonna be very careful so they don't spill. And all I'm gonna do, oh, I have a little bubble on the top of mine. I think it might pop soon. Should I touch it? Wanna see? Oh! <laughs> so I'm gonna pour my paint right inside of my ornament. Do you notice how I'm working on top of my paper bag in case I spill? I'm gonna pour it right inside the ornament. turn my my little dish. Now I have a little blob of paint sitting right there inside my ornament. I'm going to set it down for a second, making sure when I put my cap on, I put it on nice and tight. You might even want to have an adult check when you're done working to make sure all your lids are on nice and tight. Now I'm going to take some of my silver. Again, don't turn yours upside down like I did. I just wanted you guys to see the colors. I'm gonna pour my silver right on top and I don't have to use all of it if I don't want to. I can kind of decide how much I think I might want. Maybe I like one color more than the others and that's okay if I use more or less than of one. I'm gonna take a little bit of white, pour it in here. I've got a little 
little chunk on that one. That's okay. Closing my caps up nice and tight because remember this paint does not wash off nicely. And my last color is my green. I think I'm just going to do a little drop of green. There. Okay, now that I have my colors in here, I can do a couple different things. One of the things that I can do is I can just simply swirl it around like that and I can get some cool designs. This will also tell me if I think I might need more paint. If my paint's not really moving around a whole lot, I might need to use more. And as I'm doing this, I might decide that I like it just like this. And I could let it dry. I could also think about, oh, maybe when it's dry, maybe I want to put something fun inside there, like something sparkly or something like cotton balls to look like snow. There's all different kinds of things I could put inside. But I want to show you a couple different ideas you can do if you want. So I added just a little bit of water inside my ornament. You see it wiggling around in there? So I added a little bit of water and I'm just kind of stirring it up. I could even try to cover the top of my bowl and seal it up with my hand and shake it. Oh, now it looks really different. I have some spots there. I can still see my silver and I can see a big splash of blue there. I still have my, my white, my green. So I can add a little water by doing that. It almost looks like this part's the background and this is like maybe a forest with snow-topped trees there. Maybe this is a river or a big wave coming up. So if you add a little bit of water, you can get a different kind of look to it. And then when I'm all done, I would just dump this water out in the sink. Since I have this old rag here, I'm gonna try to dump the water right here on the rag and see what happens. Another thing you could do is you could start by having a little bit of water in your ornament first and then add your paint and see if you get a different look. Last idea I have for you is if you want to, you could think about using a marker. I have a Sharpie here so it doesn't erase and I could write something. Uh, this is a really good spot to write something I think because this dark blue here so I could write something on my ornament, like I could write 2020, which is the year this year. I could write 2020 there on my ornament with my silver Sharpie, or if you have a black Sharpie or any other color you could use, you can write on here too. So I can decorate my ornament however I want. My last step after I get it how I want it I could add more water and try to swirl it if I want, or I could add more paint on and swirl it. But I kind of like it just like this. So I'm going to leave it laying on this rag upside down so that anything inside can still drip out. See, I'm getting a couple little drips there. So I'm going to leave it like this all the way overnight. So I'm going to let it sit somewhere so it can dry overnight. It needs to dry for about 24 hours. So a big sleep and then a full day before I'm gonna to touch it again. So I have to put it in a very safe place where no little brothers or sisters or big brothers or sisters are gonna play with it or touch it and where everyone knows that it needs to have time to dry. After it's dry, I can put the top back on by pinching and putting it inside the hole and then it'll keep itself on and I can hang it on the tree or I can give it to someone very special to me can't wait to see what your ornaments can look like, friends. Have fun playing with acrylic paint, but remember, you can't wash it very easily, so you have to be extra careful with this and get your caps put on nice and tight. Have fun!